Hey guys, Preston here and the 3 and 1 Denver Broncos will be facing against the 3 and 2 New York Jets today in MetLife Stadium. We are on a three game winning streak ever since losing our first game against the Vikings at their new stadium, I guess. Because it looked nothing like their old stadium. So we are in MetLife Stadium today. And we do, I think we lose a toss actually. So we're going to pounce it off. I just a little reminder. I did knock down the minutes to the ten minutes instead of twelve. So here's Geno Smith, with 11, eleven hundred yards, five touchdowns, four picks, and a fifty completion percentage. Very uh, I guess average year, I guess you can say, for Geno Smith. I mean, this will be his second year in the league. I'm pretty sure. So let's see if he can actually develop his career a bit. Maybe he can become a very elite quarterback, but. Not really so far. So today we do force a four and out from the Jets on our first drive, and here is Trinity Holiday on the return, and he will go down to the 43 yard line. Enter is Rail start with 951 yards, eight touchdowns, six picks, and a 61.2 completion percentage. Looking very good in the season so far. We have a very nice game against the Bisons, where they just demolished them. Honestly, was it like uh, it was something like 42-0, something like that. So we are looking to carry that carry that morale and boost over to this game. That's going to be intercepted by a hizzy thrown to Israel Stark. And I don't even know who the guy is, but he's going to take it all the way for the score. So just like that, the Jets are going to take a quick 7-0 lead on a very bad interception from Stark. Not really an interception. I mean, I don't even know what even happened. He was, he was, I think the throw was intended for Wes Walker, but he, the line just really couldn't hold it, hold it up for him. Uh, first start actually. So that's gonna lead to West Walker going to get a bounce for the first down. Now third and four now for Stark is gonna drop back and he's gonna roll out right and he's gonna do a quick pass two. I think maybe uh I think it might be Demarius Thomas, but it's incomplete. It's gonna be a punt out for the Broncos. So it's here's handoff to Darren McFadden who's gonna make some juke some moves and gets for the first down, third and five now for Gino. Man in motion now. Gino's gonna drop back and he's going to fire it to Doug Baldwin. We're gonna get his first catch of the day for 12 yards. At midfield now, Darren McFadden's gonna get the Darren McFadden's gonna get the handoff. He's gonna break a tackle and get down to the 35 yard line. Oh, having a very good get day already. Really having a very nice rushing day, getting a lot of a lot of attempts, and he's gonna make a hurdle play right there, and he's gonna be brought down by Chris, almost by Chris Harris Jr. He's gonna slow him down, down to the 16 yard line, and they just broke up the punt it or like punt away. They're gonna have to do a field goal. And they're going to have to make it 10-2-0. So, play action fake to Blount Stark. He's going to fire it to Lucky Amariu. I guess you can say that. I mean, um, not the best at name. So, Stark is going to drop back under pressure. But, and he's going to find Wes Welker, who's going to get down to the 44-yard 44, 44 line. And that's going to be conclude the first quarter. Stark under pressure. But, and he's going to throw a screen pass to Look, Glare. And Blount is going to not get anywhere. A yard short of the first down, and that will be another punt away for the Broncos. Not looking good too far, not looking really good at all. That's almost going to be a sack by Gene Smith. That's going to be thrown up and almost intercepted by, I think, Rogers Camardi. So the Broncos are going to take over again. Blount's going to get the handoff again and fight his way down for the first down. Not having a very good first quarter, actually, but he's looking to make do a, a little bit more brushing, get, get some more yards. Not really doing too good. That's going to be intercepted by Cromarty. And Israel Stark is not the one who can catch him. He's going to push him out of bounds. That's going to be Stark's second interception, I'm going to say. Second or third. So that's going to be intercepted by Rogers Cromarty. And that's going to be another. Gino's going to give it right back to the Broncos with his first pick of the day. Four minutes left in the first half. Stark is going to drop back. And he's going to roll out right. And he's going to take it himself. Stark has some nice speed. And he's going to get down for the first down. 10 yard game for him. Very nice play. Let's walk around motion a bit. And Blount's going to get a handoff again. And get the first down for like five yards, I think. Something like that. So. Start calling some audibles at the line, and he's going to receive the snap, and he's going to roll out right, and he's going to get take too much time, actually. He's going to get sacked for a loss of 11 yards. Second and 22 at the two-minute warning now. Stark, he's, he's running around a bit, trying to find someone open. He's going to fire to the but he's going to break free, and he's going to get down past midfield to the 42-yard line. Very nice reaction and play recognition from Stark, and Stark is going to drop back from a shotgun. Uh, shotgun. That's going to be intercepted by Cromartie again. He's going to run to his teammate and fall down, actually. That's going to be his third interception of the game for Stark. Not looking good at all. Gio Smith is going to receive a snap, and he's going to find Darren McFadden, who's going to get the first down. And they're gonna, the Jets are going to call their first time out. So third and ten now for Gino, the shotgun set right now. 
He's going to receive the snap, and he's has some nice time. But actually, not. He's going to get sacked by. Uh, I think it might be Von Miller, actually. So Stark is going to receive the ball. 35 seconds left, and Stark is going to drop back. He's going to find De Demarius Thomas going up the middle. Actually, it was Julius Thomas. Sorry, the, those names are just really hard to mix up with their numbers and everything. So it's going to play to Ju Julius Thomas again. Denver is going to have to call a timeout. They kick a field goal, and it is up, and it is good. So the Broncos will finally get on the board with a 10 to 3 well, lead. Well, not really lead. They're still losing. So Jordan Hall is still going to get the kickoff and he's gonna get down to the 36 yard line so Stark's gonna hand off to like Larry Blount he's gonna break a tackle and keep fighting his way forward for the first down looking very good so far in the second half already another hand off to like Larry Blount he's gonna break a tackle and get the first down second and nine now for Stark he's gonna roll out right and he's going to see if he can find anyone and he's going to get intercepted again by the Jets I don't know who that was thinking meant Wilkerson no maybe who knows so Jets will take over 635 left and it's going to be to Darren McFadden who's going to go up the middle and get the first down and start catches day for 24 yards and the Broncos are going to have to force the Jets offense to force another field goal and the game is now 13-3 Denver is down by 10 so Stark's going to roll out was going to run around a bit and find West Milk for the first down third and two now for Stark he's going to go up the middle with LeGarrette Bound and he's going to get the first down to your game so two minutes, almost two minutes left in the third quarter. Broncos really need to get something going here. Blount's gonna get the handoff again and get the first down down to the 26 yard line. 15 rushes for 70 yards. Next play for Stark is gonna drop back and he's gonna find West Bucker again on the curl route. It's really been effective this season that curl route. Really been getting a lot of people open and just overall very beneficial for the Broncos. The Broncos offense. So it's gonna be handoff two balls. Gonna get down to the one yard line. Stark is gonna go back. Fire to Julius Thomas in the end zone for the score. So Denver is right back into this game. They now are still losing 13 and 10, but now it is only a one possession game <clears throat> for the Broncos. And we go into the fourth quarter with Geno Smith. He's going to throw on the run. It's going to be intercepted by Chris Harris Jr. He's going to break a tackle and go down the sideline to the 42 yard line. And the Broncos are in prime position to tie up this game or actually take the lead. So Stark, he's going to roll out right, and he's going to throw it up. Cut by look, Aaron Blount. He's really doing it all today. It's going to be his fourth catch of the day for 54 yards. Jets defense is going to force a, a field goal, though, from the Broncos offense. So it's, the game is going to be tied 13-13 with under eight minutes to left. So it's a very close game. Denver has really come back from this bad deficit. I think they were losing 13 or maybe 10 nothing at one point. So bad start for the Broncos, but let's see if that will actually hurt them. So, 7.20 left, it's going to be a handoff to Doug Baldwin, who's going to get the first down and get nailed down to the ground. He d is, he's not hurt though. Gino, he's going to fire to Jefferson going up the middle, and that's going to be a, another first down for the Jets. Third and six now for Gino, he's going to fire it to, uh, uh, what is Curly, I don't know his first name. First and ten, I don't, I don't know why he stepped out of bounds, actually. He could keep going. So, Smith is going to drop back a bit. He's going to find Curly again. He's going to go down the sideline, and Curly is going to be brought down by Rodgers Camardi. Rodgers Camardi kind of saved the play. Would have, maybe it would have been a touchdown if it wasn't there to push him out of bounds. Second and nine now for Gino. He's going to drop back a bit, and he's under pressure. But he's going to get sacked by the Broncos. Sean Phillips. So, under four minutes left now for Gino. He's going to run around a bit, and he's going to throw it up. Caught by Jefferson in the end zone for the score. And now the game is now seven point difference. The Jets are winning 20 to 13. As Rail Starks really needs to come in the clutch right now. And that's going to be complete to West. Uh, I mean, Lucky Amirai was going to get the first down on that play. So Stark is going to drop back. In, and he's under pressure. And he's going to get sacked. Or no, almost sacked. He's going to hit his So Stark really needs to be clutching this. He needs a touchdown to tie this game up. No field goals. Just a touchdown. So, Stark is going to run out right. He's going to complete to Wes Welker, who's almost catching, almost receiving for 100 yards. So, looking very good in the day. Stark is going to roll out right, and he's going to fire it to Mario Manningham, but that's not going to be enough for the f first down. we got to go for it. And that's going to complete to Wes Welker on the fourth and two situation. Nice fourth down conversion for Stark. 44 seconds left. Fourth and four. They need this play right here. Stark is going to drop back. He's going to roll right. And he's going to take it himself. Stark, he's not going to get the first down. Two yards short. And the Jets will take over. Let's see if the 
Broncos can do anything to save this game. They need one touchdown. And it's complete. And it's going to be a handoff to Darren McFadden. And Darren McFadden, he has no one to beat. And McFadden is gone. That's going to be his first touchdown of the game. And this game is over. The Broncos are going to lose this 27-13. Stark, you missed it. He's going to throw a Hail Mary and throw an interception. So, very bad game for the for the Broncos. They're going to lose 27-13. Their first loss since losing the first game this season. So if you guys like the video, subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. If you want videos from the, from that Broncos franchise or any other video, comment down below. So my name is Preston, and I'll see you guys later tomorrow with some baseball or some football or Walking Dead or Ghosts. We'll see. See you.